And thank you for attending our session today on Writing Validation Master Plans, Best Practices for a Compliant Document. We'll get started with uh, validation master plans. Usually they are referred to, obviously, in our industry as VMPs. Um, we want to understand quickly and make sure that we all know what a validation master plan is and what it is supposed to do uh, for us. It is, like I said, referred to as the VMP. It outlines principles that are involved in the qualification of our facility. It defines areas and systems that need to be validated. It also provides a written program for achieving and main, maintaining a qualified facility. So the validation master plan has a lot of information in it. It's a very, very important document for our industry and our companies. Validation master plans, or VMPs, are going to be written to assist our organizations with our validation strategy. Uh, in this document, you're going to talk about and say what your validation strategy is. Um, you want to provide control over specific processes. And with this document, this is what you do when you're stating what your strategy is and how you're going to go about getting your equipment qualified, your facility qualified, and all of your processes validated. Uh, the, it's going to be different than your validation procedure or your SOP, because within your SOP, what you're doing is describing specific processes and specific activities. For example, in your validation SOP, you may have a cleaning validation SOP. So that's going to describe how you're going to go about validating your cleaning processes. You may have equipment qualification SOPs. These are going to say specifically how you're going to qualify each piece of your equipment. But in your validation master plan, it's addressing everything, all the way from the facility to all your equipment, to your processes. It's all also talking about your strategy and your validation approach. The VMP is, is a very beneficial document. Um, it identifies any anticipated resources also that are going to be needed and also going to provide a schedule and a timeline for your validations. So your VMP um, is a, a document that is going to be continuously changing. You're going to be continuously adding information to this document. Um, It documents all of the valid, the scope of your validation um, efforts. So you're going to have information about impacted products in your validation master plan, uh, processes, uh, procedures. You're going to have information for, about the facility, about equipment that needs to be qualified, and also any types of utility systems that need to be qualified or validated. So your validation document includes everything, not just equipment, but facilities, utilities, um, and it's going to talk about which products are impacted by the various validations and various equipment qualifications, and which processes have to be validated in order to manufacture these particular products uh, and other processes. In your validation master plan, you're also going to include your analytical equipment uh, as well. So it's not just your manufacturing equipment, but you're going to include information and a schedule of validating your analytical equipment uh, as well. So in your VMP, you're documenting the way that your company will operate, 